Move over, wild and farmed salmon. A genetically engineered cousin is a step closer to the market. Long touted as safe by AquaBounty, the company that has been swimming upstream, seeking regulatory approval for about 20 years. The risk is as minimum as you could ever expect to get with any product. Now the Food and Drug Administration in the U.S. agrees, ruling there is no meaningful differences between the engineered salmon and its conventional counterpart. From a landlocked lab on PEI, the eggs injected with a gene from an eel called an ocean pout and one from a Chinook salmon are flown to tanks in Panama to be grown to market size. Now with this ruling, they are cleared for sale in the United States without any labeling required. These genetically modified fish can grow to market size twice as fast as farmed fish, costing a lot less to feed. But opponents say this ruling is based on poor science. There was actually an increased risk of allergy, an increased allergenic potential, but that was based on a sample size of six fish, which is um, too small. And our concern is the risk to wild Atlantic salmon that these GM salmon uh, can escape and can reproduce with wild Atlantic salmon, causing contamin genetic contamination. Even those in the salmon farming business in Canada are distancing themselves from what critics are calling frankenfish. When genetically modified fish are deemed safe by all of the regulatory bodies, and as well until the market demands it, and that's really a key factor, we're not going to be pursuing it. The company has applied for approval to market the salmon to consumers in this country and Health Canada says it will consider it carefully. But even opponents here say it's quite likely the regulator will follow the lead of its American counterpart. Tom Murphy, CBC News, Halifax.